हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लाउड पीकेआई व्हिच हैज रिसेंटली बीन रिलीज्ड एज अ फीचर विद इन द इनट्यून सूट्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज पीकेआई सो पीकेआई इज अ सिस्टम दैट यूजेस डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट टू ऑथेंटिकेट and encrypt data between device and services microsoft cloud pki is a cloud based service that simplifies and automate certificate life cycle management for intune managed devices it provides a dedicated public key infrastructure for your organization without requiring any on premises server connectors or hardware it handles the certificate issuance renewal and revocation for all intune supported platforms pki certificates are essential for securing various scenarios such as vpn wifi email web and device identity we can use microsoft cloud pki to issue certificate to intune managed devices now let's talk about the supported device platforms so android ios iPad OS Mac OS and Windows platform is currently supported and device must be enrolled in Intune and the platform must support the Intune device configuration SCUP certificate profile now let's check the licensing requirement so to use the cloud pki either we should have a microsoft intune suite license or Microsoft Cloud PKI standalone Intune add-ons license. Now, before dive into the demo session, let's quickly talk about the role-based access control. So, currently, three types of permissions are available to assign to custom Intune roles, and these permission enables users to view and manage the CAs in the admin center. And these permissions are read-only CA, create certificate authorities. and revoke issued leave certificate before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now let's see how we can implement the cloud pki so first of all we have to go to the tenant administration and if we go to the intune addons we have to make sure that we have already activated the microsoft intune suits you can see that within microsoft intune suits cloud pki is a part of it and if we click on the capabilities i have already enabled the cloud pki and we can see that status is also showing as active now to create a certificate we have to go to the cloud pki which is again present inside the tenant administration and then we have to click on it and we can see that we are also getting information saying that 50 days left in trial to keep using microsoft cloud pki after the trial ends you will need to buy a license so let me first create a certificate to do this we have to click on create and then first we have to create a root ca certificate so i am going to provide a name called intune demo lab root ca and within the description i am going to provide the same and then click on next and here we have to provide the ca type which is my root ca and within the validity period we have to select the validity period for now i am going to select 5 years but based on your choice you can change the validity period and in the extended key uses let me quickly select the server authentication client authentication and let me select uh, port signing you can also add other extended key uses based on your requirement and in the common name type let me provide the same name intune demo lab root ca and in organization let me provide intune organization ou is demo and the country is india in and then if you want you can provide other information like locality for now i am not going to provide anything and in the encryption you can select the key size and algorithm so for now i am going to select rsa 4096 and sha 512 and then click on next and then click on next 
now we have created a certificate we are also getting an information saying that you won't be able to edit a certificate authority after it's created so make sure that whatever settings you are providing in the certificates are correct and then we have to click on create now we can see that it's saying that certificate authority created and if we refresh it we are able to see that certificate and now we have to create a issuing certificate so again we have to click on create and then we have to provide the name of certificate so i'm going to provide intune demo lab issuing ca and in the description i'm going to provide the same thing and then click on next and in the configuration settings under ca type we have to select the issuing ca and under the root ca certificate we have to provide the intune but you can also bring your own ca maybe in the next video i will talk about more on this but for now i am just selecting intune as a root ca source and then we have to configure the root ca so i am going to select the root ca certificate and then we have to configure the validity period so again i am going to select the two year and then again under the extended key uses we have to select the server auth client auth as well as the code signing and then we have to provide the subject attributes so again i am going to provide the same intune demo lab issuing ca and in the organization let me provide the name intune in the organization unit let me provide the name demo and country india and then if you want you can also configure the state or locality for now i am not going to configure it and then click on next and then click on next and now click on create to create a issuing ca certificate and now let me refresh it now next step is to download the certificate and deploy it on the required devices so let me first download the root ca and deploy it on the required devices so to do this we have to click on the root ca certificate and then if you go down we have an option to download the certificate let me click on the download and the root ca certificate is now downloaded so let me quickly download the issuing ca as well so to do this we have to click on the issuing ca certificate and then we have to go to the properties and in the bottom we have an option to download it and now the root ca as well as the issuing ca certificate is now downloaded now we have to deploy both the certificate on the required devices or all devices based on the requirement for now i am going to deploy it on all the devices so to do this we have to go to the devices and we have to click on the windows and we have to create a configuration profile then we have to create a profile and under the platform we have to select windows 10 and later and in the profile type we have to select the templates and then we have to go down and select the trusted certificate and click on create and then we have to provide the name of the policy so i'm going to provide intune demo lab root ca and then click on next and then here we have to select the certificate let me select the root ca certificate which i already downloaded in my download folder and under the destination store we have to select the computer certificate store root and then click on next and then we have to include a group where you want to deploy this certificate for now i am going to select all the devices and then click on next and then click on next and then click on create and now we can see that we have successfully created a configuration profile to deploy a root ca certificate now i am going to perform the same step to deploy a issuing ca so again i am going to click on create new policies and then platform is windows 10 and later the profile type is template and then we have to select the trusted certificate click on create provide the name of the configuration profile so i am going to provide intune demo lab issuing ca and then click on next and then we have to select the issuing ca certificate let me select the issuing ca certificate and under the destination store we have to select the computer certificate store intermediate and then click on next and then deploy it on all the devices or as per your requirement for now i am going to deploy it again on all the devices and click on next 
and then click on next and then click on create. Now we have successfully created and deploy root CA as well as the issuing CA certificate on all the devices. Now after some time, if we go to the Windows devices and check any of the device where you deploy those certificates and under the device configuration, we can see that the device deployment status is showing as success. And if we go to the device and open the MMC and then click on add and remove snap in and select certificate add and then computer account click on next and finish ok and within the certificate locals if we click on the trusted root certificates we can see that the intune demo lab c certificate is issued to the device and if we right click and go to the open option we can see the certificate detail and the path and if we click on the intermediate certificate authority and click on the certificate we can see that the intune demo lab root c certificate and if we click on the open and under the certificate path we can see that intune demo lab issuing c certificate and now we are ready to deploy the scup certificate on the device so to do this again we have to go to the intune portal and then first we have to go to the tenant administration and then we have to go to the cloud PKI. We have to select the issuing CA certificate and under the property we have to go down and then we have to copy the SCUP URL and then we have to click on copy to clipboard. Let me save this in notepad. And now we have to create a configuration profile. So again we have to go to the devices and then we have to select the windows by platform and click on configuration profile and then click on create new policy and then in the platform select windows channel later and in the profile type templates and then we have to select the scup certificate and click on create and then we have to provide the name and the description so I have provided the name Intune Demo Lab Scub Certificate and then click on next. And now under the configuration, we have to select the certificate type. Let me select the device and under the subject name format, leave it as it is. And then we have to configure the certificate validity period. I am okay with one year and in the key storage provider, I am going to select enroll to trusted platform. TPM KPS if present otherwise software KSP and under the key uses I am selecting both and key size bytes we have to select that let me select 2048 and then hash algorithm I am going to select SHA2 and then we have to provide the root CA let me select the root CA certificate and then we have to provide the extended key uses so I am going to select the client authentication and in the enrollment setting leave it is 20% threshold and under the SCUP URL we have to copy the URL and then click on next and then we have to deploy this certificate so I'm going to select all devices and then click on next and then click on next and then click on create. Now we have successfully created and deployed the SCUP certificate on all the devices. And now after some time we can see that the SCUP certificate is showing as install on one device. And if we click on the view report, we can see the name of the device where it is showing as successfully installed. And now if you go to the device and open the MMC. Under the certificate, if we click on the personal and certificate, we can see that we have a device certificate issued by Intune Demo Lab issuing CA certificate. And if you select the certificate and open it, we can see the general information about the certificate like the validity period details as well as the certificate path. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.